Greg Nibbler here at Digital Trends for our CES 2018 coverage in the South Hall and we were walking down one of the aisles and we saw this group of robots all singing together in sync and we had to come in and find out more about what's going on here. So they're called the iPal and I'm here with John. So John, thank you so much for speaking with us. So what is the name of the company? The company is Avatar Mind and we make the iPal robot. It's a fully functional humanoid robot with lots of sensors, uh, features, and a number of applications that we're focusing on. So um, you've got them over here, and we'll talk about that in a minute, how they're all kind of working in conjunction with each other. But what is the, uh, what is the desired market for these robots? Well, uh, there's several right now. We're working with the STEAM educational group in the Silicon Valley to actually put the robots in schools as a teacher's helper to give special education children additional help, things like that. Also, elder care. We're starting to prototype into elder care facilities to give the residents better uh, you know, care, monitor them, you know, basically provide them with a little bit better quality of life, and also retail hospitality. Uh, so in hospitals uh, or in, uh, you know, hotels where the robot can actually, you know, greet people, be sort of a concierge receptionist. So it's like kind of like a companion robot or, yeah, like you said, yeah. a concierge yeah. along those but lines. Also a, big fe a big feature is, is being able to monitor with full telepresence. So, for example, a mother at work could even control the robot, see what her child is doing at home, Make sure everything's robot. okay via the robot. You know, can move the robot around, find the child, look through the robot's eyes. So it actually is camera enabled. You That's can correct. log in and yeah. follow it, and you can control it and move it? That's correct. We have a fully functional remote control, and uh, you can move it around. You can have it strike poses. You can start stop songs. You can move it around. You can look through the camera, all of that sort of stuff. Can you speak through it as well? Um, well, I think uh, right now uh, we will have that, op yes, with telepresence really, that's part of it. You know, it's, think of it like uh, having a camera on the robot plus like a Skype conversation. Okay. So a combination of those two. Okay, and uh, so right now though, you can do all of those things. What else can, are you looking forward to in the future with it? Because I know you were saying you had some, some things that you're working on. Yeah, yeah, actually uh, this, we have a lot of people who are interested in the robot and part of the reason is that it's sort of the fully functional humanoid robot, and it's sort of the only one at this, what we think is an affordable price point. And what is that? Well less than $2,000. Okay. And compared to other robots that are similar capability, it's a fraction of the cost. And because we wanted to make a robot from the beginning that was affordable for ordinary families, not just institutions. So you can purchase this right now? Yeah. Well, in China, you can purchase the Mandarin version. In the U.S., you can purchase the developer version. Okay. And we'll have a consumer product for like elder care and children's education maybe before the, the mid part of 2018. But right now, you can get a developer version. You can actually put your own content and interaction model on the robot and very quickly have your own robotic product. And we will white label the platform. So if a, someone has a really great application, like say in elder care, and they know what they want to do, get a developer version, put your content on it, and then start selling it through your channel. Okay, and can you show us just a quick demonstration of something that they can do? Sure. This is something that's just really simple, like just singing a song. This is part of the entertainment for children. So these come with the songs already on there, and you can add your own content as you're yeah, saying. Yeah, actually, we'll also have an app store where you can download more content. And uh, right now, it runs Android. In fact, for a developer, if you know, if you're an Android developer, you can actually develop for the robot. And actually, you can download applications, add new applications, and have them run on the screen without change. John, I want to say thank you so much you for, so for much. taking your time to talk to us. Again, this is Greg here at Digital Trends. Follow all our coverage at digitaltrends.com/ces. Mm -hmm.